Good evening. Uh, welcome to our Spring Choral Spectacular. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Sadie Wilson, and I am the choir director here at CHS. This is my second year as choir director, and I absolutely love my job. Um, so, before we get started, I would just ask that you would make sure that your cell phone is turned to silent. You are more than welcome to take pictures and things like that, but just make sure, if you could, that um, there's no flash photography. We would appreciate that, just so they don't get too distracted. They're already pretty jittery as it is. Um, so, the first group that you're going to see, you're going to see a mixture of groups like you've seen in concerts past. There's, there's a mixture, mixture of, of smaller, smaller ensembles, ensembles, and then you'll see the larger choirs all together. They'll be performing what I call the fun songs, and then they will also be doing some of their contest pieces for you tonight. Um, so the first group that you're going to see, I do apologize, there was a misprint in um, your program, and so um, the first ensemble is not going to be cups, they're switching with the mixed voice ensemble. So the first ensemble you're going to see tonight is our mixed voice ensemble, and they are actually accompanied by a student who is playing the ukulele, which is pretty awesome. Um, I am really thankful to have students who are multi-talented. So. Um, one thing that I really love about my students is that they are very um, self-motivated and they are very creative and so um, this ensemble is actually the idea of a different student. It was a student, it wasn't me who came up with it and so I am always um, willing and I always encourage students to come up with their own ideas and I facilitate them as best as I can. Um, so. Uh, if you would give a warm welcome to our Somewhere Over the Rainbow Ensemble, they will be joining us.
And to hear from is our Intermediate Choir. Um, so I thought I'd share with you some of the successes that Intermediate Choir has had this year. Um, so in February, we got to go to solo and ensemble, um, and it was the first time that it was in person um, since COVID. And we had one small ensemble from the Intermediate Choir, and at the district level, they earned a gold. We had six soloists who also earned gold, and then three of those soloists went on to state to also receive gold, which is pretty awesome. And then more recently, we went to the ISMA organizational contest, and that's for the entire choir. Um, and the um, intermediate choir earned a gold rating for their performance there as well. Thank you. The first two pieces that you're going to hear from the Intermediate Choir tonight, um, Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel and Agnus Day, they um, are both from the contest and they are pieces that earns them the gold rating. And then the Lean On Me is our fun song and we will have um, a small band joining us for that one and we will also have a soloist, Kara Harrison, so I hope you enjoy.
to collaborate with some of the band members and Mr. Thompson himself. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, so our next group is our vocal jazz ensemble. Um, and we are missing one tonight, so there are six of them. There are seven listed in the program. Um, they're going to be doing the song Sound of Silence. Now, um, this ensemble also went to the Solon Ensemble Contest back in February, um, and they performed the song, an arrangement of the song Blackbird, and they received a gold, which is awesome. Um, oh, thank you. We also, out of that group, there are seven of them, and six of them took solos, two solo and ensemble, and all of them received gold, and we had one go on to state and also receive gold at the state competition. <laughs> this group also performed at ISMA with the Advanced Choir, and they um, earned a gold rating there. Um, and then, I think that's it. Sorry, I'm out of breath and I'm distracted. <laughs> um, so they're going to be doing a nice arrangement of the song Sound of Silence. Um, now this is based on the Simon and Garfunkel version, so the original version. So it is not based on the Disturbed version. So all of you younger folk in the audience, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but we're doing the good version. So <laughs> please welcome Vocal Jazz.
The next choir that you're going to hear from is our advanced choir. I've broken their set into two um, different sets. Um, so their first one is actually um, the pieces that they did at contest. And so as I said before, um, they did go to ISMA contest and they sang their best and they got a gold rating, which is great. And we also had several members of this choir who went to the solo and ensemble contest back in February. Um, at district, we had one small ensemble that got gold and they went on to state. We had one large ensemble that got gold and went on to state. And we had four soloists who got gold and also went on to state. And then when they went to state, they all got gold, and most of them got gold with distinction, which is the highest rating that you can possibly receive at the state contest. Now, I will say that this group is so fun, and they are immensely talented. If you know any of the kids who are in this choir, you know that they just ooze talent. Um, and so I've just kind of tried to squeeze as much out of them as possible this year. Um, and so the pieces that you're going to hear from contest are pretty difficult. Um, but I was super excited. Um, their arrangement of Witness that they are performing is one of my all-time favorite choral pieces. And that is actually the same piece that the large ensemble from Solon Ensemble um, took to the Solon Ensemble contest. Um, and so the whole choir is going to be joining them for that. Um, so I hope that you enjoy the advanced choir performance.
vocal jazz, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna welcome back vocal jazz to the stage. Um, they're gonna do an arrangement of Fly Me to the Moon, which is such a classic jazz piece. Um, and our band is going to return to accompany them on that. Um, I have one senior that I would like to make a comment about in this, in this ensemble. Um, he tends to think that I pick on him and forget about him all the time, but he loves jazz. If you know Aaron Vanover, you know he loves jazz. And so I chose this arrangement with him in mind so that he could have one last jazz piece in vocal jazz. So please welcome back vocal jazz. Advanced Choir's second set for this evening. Uh, the first piece that they're going to do, um, I talked about earlier how this group just oozes, oozes talent. Um, and I have a lot of big voices, and I wanted to try to showcase some of those for you this evening, um, and some that you may not always get to hear. Um, so the first piece that we're going to do is I Shall Be Released. I think it was originally done by Bob Dylan, um, but this is going to kick off their fun set. Um, and so we're going to do I Shall Be Released, followed by Don't Stop Me Now, which we've had a lot of fun with. So please welcome back Advanced Choir.
They say everything can be replaced Yet every distance is not near So I remember every face Of every protection they say every man must fall yet I swear I see my reflection somewhere high above these walls Leaping through the sky like a tiger, defying the laws of gravity. A racing car passing by like a lady diver. I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. I'm burning through the sky. Yeah. Look at the That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. Don't stop me now If you wanna have a good time Just give me a 
That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Traveling at the speed of light, I wanna make a supersonic get out of you. Don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me. Don't stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me. Isn't that a fun song? Don't you, doesn't that make you wish you were in choir in high school if you weren't? <laughs> I absolutely love that song. Um, and we have one senior who loves Queen. So Orn O'Brien loves, loves Queen. And he about came unglued when I told him we were gonna do that song. So <laughs> um, if you know him, you already know that he loves Queen. I'm telling you what, this group of seniors is just so special to me. Um, all right, so the next group we now have the women's ensemble, and they are going to do the song Cups. It was made famous from the movie Pitch Perfect. I'm sure you've heard it before. And I just wanna take a second to brag on these girls because they will work on whatever I throw at them for every single concert, and they will pick it up like that. Um, and I just adore them. We are missing one of our bunch tonight. Kayla McKinney could not be here. She had cheerleading tryouts at Ball State. So, of course, our thoughts are with her, and we miss her dearly. So if you're like, there's one missing, there is. Um, but part of what makes this group so special is just the friendship and the chemistry between them and the camaraderie, and I just love being around them. I think we laugh just as much as we sing in their rehearsals, and they are just such a joy to work with. I just adore them. So please welcome the women's ensemble to the stage. Miss me by my walk, you're gonna miss me by my talk, oh, you're gonna miss 
They came up with that all by themselves. Amazing and not surprising. <laughs> but I'm glad that you got just a taste of the joy that I get with them every single day. They are such a special group. Um, and I mean that in a lot of ways. Uh, but they are so much fun and they will truly be missed by every single member of the choir. Um, a couple of things before uh, we do our last number with everybody. Um, if you look inside your um, program, there's a couple of important announcements. Um, so senior students and families, uh, there will be a very short award ceremony over in the cafeteria um, immediately following the um, concert. So right after this, we will just head right over there, and that is for seniors and their immediate families. There will be light refreshments, and I will give out the senior awards. Um, there will be a parent booster meeting this Monday, the 16th at 6 p.m. in the choir room. We are discussing the car wash fundraiser this summer for the Disney trip. So if your student is someone who is going on the Disney trip, um, then it might be a good idea for you to attend, or maybe contact me if you can't be there, and um, I will be happy to fill you in. Um, but we are always looking for more parents to join the boosters. As of right now, we don't have a lot, but I'm super thankful for the ones who do show up. Um, if you need updates, you can always follow our Facebook page, or I also have a remind that I use to keep in contact with everybody. Um, and if you need that information, um, feel free to come see me um, or ask your child to bring home a paper. I know the reality of how that's going to go down. Okay. I've sent lots of papers home and I always hear parents saying, well, I didn't know about this. And I'm like, I know, I have a teenager that lives in my house and he's great with communication. <laughs> Um, some people that I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank obviously our administration at Central Office and um, here at CHS. They're very supportive um, of both our department and of the band department. So we are very thankful for that. Um, all of the music teachers have helped from our corporation, they have all helped in some way to make this happen. Um, you saw Levi Thompson on the drum set and he was fantastic. Um, a lot of the other teachers are just around here somewhere, usually backstage, trying to make sure that the kids don't get into mischief, which they probably will anyways. But, um, and then I would like to thank Sydney Jo. You just saw her, she made a special guest appearance. Um, and she is the reason that all of this is working. She is also the mastermind behind the video and she helps students create that. So we are always thankful um, for people who are willing to collaborate with us and um, be able to work together in that way professionally. I would also like to thank our wonderful accompanist, Judy Mihiran. She makes my life so much easier and she's so fantastic at what she does. Um, Carolyn Judd and the rest of the parents involved in the boosters, um, in parentheses, we still need more. Um, who are constantly, they're constantly brainstorming ideas um, and helping me come up with different ideas and solve problems. Um, but I'd also like to thank all of you for supporting your student, whether you're, you know, mom or dad, or whether you're a guardian, whether you're grandma or grandpa, brother, sister, friend, whoever you might be to these students. I just want to thank you for encouraging them to be part of this program and for coming to support them tonight. That means the world to them, whether they tell you that or not. Um, so thank you for being here. Um, and of course, I always say this, but I would like to thank the students themselves. Um, they should be behind this curtain, so I think they can hear me. Um, but I have the very best students at Connorsville High School, um, and there has not ever been a day where I have just dreaded going into work because they make every single day a good day, and I am so beyond thankful for that. Um, our last song is a combination of two different pieces from two different Broadway musicals. So if anyone in your house likes Broadway even a little bit, or if you like Broadway even a little bit, you've probably heard of at least um, Hamilton. Um, and you've probably heard of the show Dear Evan Hansen. And so the last one that we're going to close with tonight is a combination of You Will Be Found from Dear Evan Hansen and the story of tonight from Hamilton. Um, and I, I picked this because one, it interested the students, and it's one that I also love, but it has a deeper meaning, and it goes further than that. Um, so something I try to do in my classroom as a teacher is promote a culture of kindness and positivity and unity and compassion, and um, the main reason being because these kids are human beings. They need love, they need kindness, they need to be together, they need community. Um, but also because of the effects of COVID, you know, there have been so much more 
diagnoses of anxiety and depression among teenagers than there ever has been. Um, and so when they walk into my classroom, I want them to know that that is a place where they're seen and they're heard and they're loved. And so the whole idea behind this song, the whole um, message that it has, is that it doesn't matter how dark the place is that you're in right now, you're going to be found. Someone's going to find you. And so I thought this was a really great closer for all of the kids to sing together. And they love it. And I'm sure you will see that they love it um, because they just belt it out there. So I'm sure that you will enjoy it. Um, thank you again for being here tonight. After we are done, the students will either come out here or meet you in the courtyard. There's going to be about 80 teenagers back there, and you probably don't want to venture back there. Um, um, so they will meet you out here, and don't forget, senior parents, there will be um, an award ceremony in the cafeteria. So um, without further ado, here is our closing song, and it is called Found Tonight. not yet have reached our glory, but I will gladly join the fight. And when our children tell their story, they'll tell the story of tonight. They'll tell the story of tonight. Tonight Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? 